Oh, that's good coffee. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Coding Zoo. If this is your first time joining, my name is Shane. In today's video, we're going to continue our series on SQL, on SQL with the PostgreSQL database. In today's video, we're going to cover how to insert data into a table in your database. If you are interested in learning about that, stick around. We're going to jump right in. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm, I'm already using the PSQL command to be inside of my My Order System database. Now, in our previous videos, we created a database and we created a table. I'm going to go ahead and do a DT. So, so this, I think it's backslash DT. And that shows you that I have an orders table. Now, inside of that table that we created, there's certain columns. Now I'm going to issue a select command here that will actually show you the columns in that database, in that orders table. So there you go. So this is the orders table. I have a column name of order ID, which is an integer. It's actually a sequence data type. It's a primary key. I have the order date, and I have a, which is a timestamp, and I have the created by. So I want to put data in this table. Now if I look at that table now by doing select command. So select star and asterisk, which means all the columns. And we'll go over select in the next video to cover it in depth, but select all from orders. We'll see that there is no data in that table. So how do I get data into my table? Well, you do that with insert statements. So let's go ahead and insert a record or two in our table. So I'm going to do insert into and then the name of your table. So orders, let's do lowercase, orders. And the next thing you put is the column names. So parentheses. And since the order ID, under order underscore, under order underscore ID column is a sequence uh, column. And again, we specified that when we created a table. Uh, Postgres will automatically put something in that column for me. So I'm not going to include uh, order ID. I'm not going to include that. I'm going to include order um, date, right? I'm going to include created by. So in parentheses, so I have insert into orders, parentheses, order date, comma, created by, in parentheses. So my table name and the column names. And now I'm going to specify values. So now we're going to specify the values to put into those columns. You have to do it in order. So order date, instead of me just saying a timestamp, I want to use current timestamp. So there's a function that's built into the database that will do that. So current underscore timestamp. This is a kind of a macro or function built into the database that will do that for me. Do comma. And now I want to do created by. So instead of doing double quotes like you might do in some languages with Postgres and it's SQL, you do single quotes. So I'm going to do Shane underscore Shane Crouch, no underscore, space Crouch. So again, I have insert into orders. Orders is my table name. And then I have parentheses and each column name that I want to insert into. I don't have to include all the column names unless there's a not null. If there's a not null column specified, then I have to enter it. So values. So in, insert into the table, the columns, and then values, and then the, the data you want to put in those columns in order. Don't forget your semicolon. So press enter, insert zero, 01. So that tells me that it was successful. So let's do that select again. I want to press up in my command line, select all from orders. So this, with select statements, we'll go in depth in the next video, but you have select. An asterisk means all columns, and then from, and then your table name. That's the syntax. So you get to learn a little bit about that, too. We'll go in-depth in that on that in our next video. All right, so there we go. I have an order ID of 2. It's a sequence. It signed it to 2. I did have a rec previous record in here that I deleted. That's why it started with 2 instead of 1. And created by Shane Crouch and the timestamp it was created. Well, let's try that again. I want to do... Uh, I'm going to... Kind of make it short and just kind of cheat here and find that insert again. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to change this insert. I'm going to specify a different person. And I'm going to say Nick. And I'm going to say Nick Crouch. 
Now there's a little bit of noise in the background. You have to excuse that family's doing some things here. So I have insert again into my table orders, insert into orders. Then I specify the columns name, column names in parentheses, created by, created underscore by, comma, order underscore date, in parentheses, the keyword values, and then parentheses, and then the value you want to put into the created by, comma, the value you want to put into the order date. Press enter, and it inserted it, no errors. Let's do a select again, select all from orders, semicolon. Now we have two records in there. So that's it, pretty simple. Now what would happen if I did that incorrectly? Maybe, let's say I don't want to put a timestamp. And I'm going to get rid of the column over here for order date. I don't want to put an order date. What will happen if I do this? It looks correct, right? I said it earlier, I don't have to specify all the columns. You don't have to specify all the columns. You don't have to put data in all the columns unless they have a constraint on them. When I created these tab this table in the previous video, and I'll put a link to the video up here, I specified constraints on certain columns. On this column, I specified a constraint that it couldn't be null. So now I'm trying to insert a record into the database where the value is null for, for that order date. And I, I've already said that's not allowed. What will happen? Null value in column order date of relation orders violates not null constraint. It won't let you do it. So when you specify a data type, of, data type of not null on a column, it won't let you enter data into that column that's null. So just FYI, that's what a constraint is all about when, you, when you're creating a, a, a table. All right, so this is how you insert data into your tables. Very simple insert command, insert with into and then a table name. And then you do va um, the columns, names in parentheses, values, and then the, and the column data you want to insert in parentheses. That's it. Pretty simple. So I hope that makes a lot of sense. If you have questions, leave me a message below. I will get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button. It helps us to get it out there to others. And that's a big help for us. If you're interested in seeing our upcoming videos on SQL or other programming videos, be sure to click that subscribe button, click the bell icon so you get alerts. In our next video, we're going to go in depth into how to use the select statement. You saw me use it some today. In our next video, we're going to go more in depth on how to use it. So that's all we have for you today. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great week. We'll see you again next time. Bye.